here we go again. <laughs> nah, this one's not so bad, at least not for me. Otro video para ti hoy este cerrón con e de inetcomputers.com. Logitech webcam. So this Logitech HD, meaning high definition webcam C615, is kind of an older webcam. I would say it's probably uh, pushing 10 years old. Eh, it still works. So this was just a individual and a customer that did not know if this webcam would work. But by the time I remotely connected into their computer, they had performed most, if not all, of the work. However, they still couldn't figure out whether or not this webcam was working, and I quickly did. So basically, the Logitech C615 is not, N-O-T, not supported with newer Macintosh operating systems at the time of this blog post and video creation, which would be Sierra, High Sierra, High Sierra is 10.13, does not officially support this Logitech webcam. The drivers are old. They haven't been updated since April, what was it, 11th of, two th well, no, I think April 13th of 2011. However, this webcam worked. Now, there was one error. I'll cut to the chase. If my mouse fucking agrees to work. <laughs> God damn it, Aaron, you don't even know how to use a computer. You need, you're a hypocrite. You need to take a course on how to use a computer. I'm really, <laughs> this goddamn veganism, man, I'm telling you. And, and it's so hot. I love hot weather. It's already 91 degrees. I would just love to go outside and just start burning. Oh, that's right. My skin doesn't really burn that much. I don't even use, you know, skin... No, I don't, I don't put on sunscreen. I don't even use sunscreen. Oh, 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 that's right. The pale skinned Europeans that murdered 95% of my ancestors and stole this continent. Oh, they burn. That doesn't mean I can stay out in the sun all day, though. I will say that, but. I have a MacBook Pro laptop. I'm trying to connect a Logitech webcam and headphones so I can teach online. Nothing is being recognized. I don't know what to do. Well, actually... The Logitech webcam was being recognized, but since this webcam is not officially supported in High Sierra, I don't own a Macintosh and I still support them. I think when you hook up a hardware device, it will, you know, the icon will show up down in the dock and it should show up somewhere in the finder. On this they claim that you know it didn't show up but what you can do is if you're in doubt Macintosh has in my opinion it has pretty good hardware diagnostics actually up on the top menu top left which will be over here for you I think yes <laughs> over here you'll see the Mac icon click on the Mac icon can't miss it and then select about this Mac and then go into the hardware properties. There is, I think it's called hardware. And there's another window. And then you go into the hardware properties and scroll down a little bit. There'll be two categories where, you'll, where you should find the Logitech webcam. Now, here's a caveat. This blog post that you should click on the link in the description box but all that, that'll take you to my website in a computers.com where you can read in the abstract full information on how the Logitech C615 works on a Macintosh with Windows, excuse me, with High Sierra 10.13 even though it's not supported and how I can figure it out and how I, you know, configured it but didn't really have to do much but still was able to, you know, figure out it worked and, and how, how you can select the webcam and the Logitech headphones successfully. You can use this video and these instructions for other Logitech webcams. However, the information is not going to be the exact. The word the is concrete. The. No, it's not absolutist. Under USB devices and under camera, 
This Logitech C615 webcam HD, high definition, I think it's probably 720p is the highest, maybe 1080, I don't really care, but I know quickly when I looked through the drivers page though, where you download the driver, it quickly said, I think it's either 1080 or 720, whatever. It's not going to be 4K. I don't know why the fuck you would want 4K video. That's just overkill. Even 720. For what, 100 years or whatnot? Well, yeah, I wouldn't, nah, not 100, but I think in the 19, let me think off the top of my head. I think television was rolled out in the 1930s, I think, something like that. Anyway, 70, 70, whatever, 78, well, longer than, whatever. Not quite a century, but whatever. There was 480, you know, analog that people used. And then now it's just, well, 4K, 8K, 16K, overkill. I do not need to see myself in 4K, but, you know, I've been accused of being a narcissist. But maybe, maybe I'm not doing a good enough job. I'm, I'm, I'm just being sloppy, and I need, I need to be slapped. And oh, I would love myself. I would love it. Oh, well, no, I don't want 4K. I want to be seen on 8K. No, 4K isn't good enough for my face. No, 8K. So. As long as your device, your webcam, your Logitech webcam, whether it's a C615 or there's all, there's many different models, a C920, blah, 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 blah. As long as it shows up under Mac hardware properties under camera and it's detected and also under USB devices and it's detected, it should work. You know how I know that? Now, there was a problem loading the Logitech software and let me cut to that chase right now. You received this error that the camera is currently in use. You will see this, receive this error. This webcam is currently in use by another program. Please reconnect. And then when you click on the reconnect button, then you get the same error. Well, to me, that's a false positive error, and the reason why I call it a false positive is because I went into FaceTime. You should know what FaceTime is if you own a Macintosh. I don't even own a Macintosh, and I know what FaceTime is. It's that program that you can chat with your children, and you can also video chat with them. It's a pretty good app. The video quality is pretty good, actually. So go into FaceTime, and then change the source of the video. All you have to do is change the source and when I when I it's in the top menu I think under the it might be under a video tab go up in the top menu and look for you know video and then I think from the very top menu you can change the source this Macintosh Pro it was a MacBook Pro I don't know what model I just know it was a MacBook Pro it's all all of these details are in my blog post that's why I write blog posts well I kill multiple birds with one stone. This is a search engine optimized keyword, but I don't want to digress about that. But I also include blog posts because a lot of times what I don't include in my video, I do include in the blog post. My blog posts are more thorough than than my videos actually. But I try to include as much detailed information in my videos as I possible. But I don't script my videos. I will never script my videos because that's mental midget it is just stupid to me it's not natural it's just it would be boring I would be reading off a teleprompter the Logitech C615 webcam is not officially supported by High Sierra and you would be able to see my eyes oh yeah these fakes these YouTube shills in the technology sector you I can watch them read off of a script or read off of the teleprompter, that's how fake they are. Not all of them are fake. But but just because you don't read off a teleprompter, just because you don't script your videos, doesn't mean that you're not a shill, not my books. Although I don't keep books. It's not like I sit there and document, okay, this clown is a shill, this, she's a shill, okay, Microsoft must be paying this schmuck, okay, Apple is up in bed with this fucker. All right, I digress. So just go up into the, change the video source in FaceTime. It's real easy. Now this MacBook Pro had two cameras. It had the built-in webcam 
and it also obviously now it has the USB cam so by default it was selected to use the onboard integrated webcam well this individual wanted to become a teacher but they wanted to to move their webcam now I don't know I, I'm gonna save you my gold tip you might want to wait until the end of this video until I give you my gold tip on how to what I in my opinion well it's not just an opinion well it's kind of an opinion how you should go about purchasing hardware for your you know computers and Macs and might save you a lot of time money and grief it may save your sanity or but you know you can become mentally ill like me there's always that choice you know <laughs> hey man dealing with this shit although these kinds of pro I don't consider this a problem making a video about this type of a subject and helping people out this way this doesn't bother me at all because most of the work was already done this individual had already downloaded the correct driver from Logitech's website but what I noticed when I went to the Logitech website is they do not officially support newer versions let's get let's cover that real quick so the Logitech C615 webcam only is supported up to Mac and Tosh operating system 10.5 to 10.6 which is Leopard and Snow Leopard officially Logitech has not updated and upgraded those drivers and that software so technically you know Sierra Mavericks El Capitan High Sierra those operating systems are not supported but I know for a fact the webcam works but you do receive that strange notice now it could be that another camp webcam software another software on this Macintosh that has access to the webcam was still running in the background and my experiences with Mac although much more limited than even Linux but especially Microsoft Windblows operating systems is that even on a Mac you think that you close that program you think that you properly quit well no it's still you can see it still highlighted in the dock or it's not even highlighted in the dock it's actually still running so I you could you might be able to clear that error by restarting that Mac now this customer I advised that they should restart the Mac to try to clear that error they didn't want to because they wanted to make sure that they could contact me they had just got a hold of me on this third party website where I earn supplemental income going mentally ill I mean continuing my mental illness I mean you know what I'm saying and so they had not restarted their Mac you could to try to clear that error you could restart the Mac it's not gonna affect the ability to use that webcam however you won't be able to go in and change settings now I don't know for a fact I do have a Logitech webcam on Microsoft Windows 10 the software it's got so it's got you know it's not like expansive it's free software but you can you can zoom in you can pan you can tilt you can move the camera up you can move it down like I said you can zoom in there, there's certain settings that you can adjust the the amount of light and there's a lot of settings I don't fuck with a lot of settings but they are available so if if after you restart your Macintosh computer I just received an email or a text but whatever and that error doesn't go away you know your your webcam is currently in use don't worry about it it could be that it's the fact that that webcam the C615 is not officially supported in newer Mac operating systems like High Sierra which is 10.13 that's my I don't know for a fact I, you know at this point it doesn't matter but I will keep that I will try to keep that in my back of my brain I'll try to keep that in my memory slot called my brain if I ever run across this again and I notice that people restarted their Mac and then that cleared that error I I'm a highly suspicious that it could be because the webcam isn't officially supported so but it still works and the only thing that you're missing is you won't be able to make some adjustments to the webcam but it's possible that other software that has access to that webcam can make those same adjustments or similar adjustments I just don't know I don't have that much experience with FaceTime and photo booth so on a Macintosh FaceTime is free it's already built into the operating system and I'm pretty certain that photo booth is also free and built into the operating system so with both of those P 
pieces of software, I was able to go up and change the video source. That's all you have to do. And then I tested it, and the customer, she was a female, so I'm not a misogynist. She already performed most of the work, but she just couldn't quite figure out that whether or not the webcam was working, and it could be because of that false positive error that she that her Macintosh was receiving. Whereas I was like, well, okay, fine, you know. So it could be that you just can't use the Logitech software. It's it it loaded up in the applications folder, but when you click on it, it 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 just doesn't connect to the camera. But anyways, so let's not obsess over that. Now, as far as the Logitech headphones, the Logitech yes, headphones, same thing, same deal. I didn't waste any time going into you know about this Mac and then into the hardware properties because I was like well you know what if the Logitech webcam is obviously detected and it obviously works because I've tested it and the customer knows it works now well then mm, chances are that the headphones probably work same thing I went into FaceTime and up choose audio I think in the top menu I think there's an audio tab choose on that and you can select the audio source or oh, so, so that's one way and and this Macintosh was obviously the integrated audio devices were select by default so you have to tell FaceTime what audio source to use and I tested it with the customer they were able to you know hear in in the headphones and also I tested the microphone the same thing with photo booth go into photo booth and go into the audio settings and change the audio source to the headphones now another way you you could you instead of going into each individual software application what you could do is you could go into the Macintosh system properties so you could go into you know the system properties the in the dock they're not the a for the Apple Store but I think next to it there's a weird icon gray looking it, it go into the system properties on your Macintosh and then select sounds go and then go into sounds and in sounds you will be able to change your source audio now when you change the source audio in the sound properties it changes it system wide so you only have to make the change once similar to Windows wind blows excuse me and Linux that way then if you change it in sounds and system properties on the Macintosh then you don't have to go into each individual piece of software you don't have to go into FaceTime you don't have to fuck around with photo booth and if you were able to get the Logitech webcam software to work you wouldn't have to go in there and fuck with the settings it's system wide you change it there it changes it everywhere and that's what I did I changed the audio source and I also changed the microphone you are also able to change the microphone because I'm pretty sure that this MacBook Pro had both built-in integrated speakers for output sounds outputted and then also an integrated microphone and once I changed both the output to the Logitech ear earphones headphones and then also the mic so that the, the Logitech headphones also also I think had a mic well when I changed both then I she tested it and it worked she was able to you know use her microphone and then also she could hear the the system sounds through the headphones now another caveat before I run I need to run is that now since this individual hooked up an external USB webcam here's another tip the keyword I just use this keyword because it worked out well for search engine optimization purposes when I performed my keyword research you notice the word laptop you can use this Logitech C615 webcam on a desktop computer don't let that confuse you but although I will say that this MacBook Pro is technically a laptop but you can use a USB webcam on desktops laptops Linux Macintosh and Windows but I just chose that keyword because it worked out really well you know what I'm saying and I should be able to get traffic in the future that's another tip since they already had a built-in integrated MacBook Pro webcam that came with the MacBook Pro brand new 
Well, that webcam, well, there that MacBook Pro also included an integrated microphone. So that means you have one integrated webcam, one integrated microphone. Okay. Well, now that this customer hooked up a USB Logitech C615, now you're going to have another webcam and you're going to have another microphone because. From my understanding, I don't know about all, but most, a lot of the Logitech webcams actually have built-in microphones. So now you're going to have two sets of eyes and ears that are not yours. Well, now they hooked up some Logitech headphones. Well, now you're going to have a third set of ears. So just become aware of that. Now she has three different microphones to choose from. So when it comes time to recording a YouTube video or getting on FaceTime or using photo booth or using Skype or whatever whatever software you're using keep that in the back of your head if you ever have any problems with audio you can't hear whoever's on the other end anymore or all of a sudden they can't hear you it could be because somehow you know the default output audio source changed or the default input microphone source changed so what you what you could do is you could go into the system properties go into sounds and just double check to make sure and sometimes it's not always your fault sometimes operating systems are buggy Macintosh operating system is not perfect no not even close even though it is based upon Berkeley systems which is technically you know Unix but I digress Sometimes even updates will fuck up, or you install a MacBook Pro update, or you know a High Sierra update, and all of a sudden your sound chatting settings get changed. I've noticed that with Linux, and I've noticed that with Windows. So just become aware that now you've got you know all these separate you know e ears and all these separate output devices and all these separate input devices because it, it just you know if you're not aware of that then you get you freak out and you think that the camera doesn't work anymore or you think that the headphones don't work anymore or you think that the MacBook Pro is a piece of shit and you throw it off of a 10 foot story building when all it was was that something caused the settings to get changed and you you need to learn ignorance is bliss until you die from a vaccination so you need to learn how to you know perform some basic troubleshooting steps now that you've got three ears and two separate pair of eyes as the <laughs> as the national spy agency as the United States government military continues to spy on you I mean I digress back so just become aware of that now my gold tip my gold tip is not to judge this customer because I think from my understanding they had already owned this Logitech C615 web camera so it's possible that they were just trying to extend the life out of it or they were trying to get a job or they were trying to make income teaching people online different uh, one or two different languages or something like that now if you are thinking of and debating on purchasing hardware here's a gold tip it doesn't matter what type of hardware but let's just stick to this webcams always 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 perform your research first go out to the manufacturer's website preferably and find out number one what hardware does the Logitech C615 webcam accept what hardware is compatible with the Logitech C615 hypothetically you're going to purchase a new I think you can still buy these brand new but they're, they're pretty old by now five to ten years old but whatever hey if they're if they're still functional I, I it makes logical sense that Logitech still sells them or they still they have a whatever I, I don't want to digress about the you know their inventory and all that bullshit all right and then number two after you've researched the hardware does the is the Logitech webcam compatible with personal computers PCs like Hewlett Packard Dell you know Microsoft Surface Pro Lenovo Toshiba blah 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 I gotta keep an eye on my my rice that I'm making. Now that you've verified that your hardware, whether it's a MacBook Pro or whether it's a PC computer, 
personal computer or laptop or whatever is compatible with your Logitech C615. Now number two, you want to find out what operating system is the Logitech C615 webcam compatible with. Is it compatible with Linux? What distributions of Linux? What version? Slackware? Debian? Ubuntu? Fedora? Suzy? Linux Mint? Kali Linux? CentOS? What fucking Linux distribution is compatible? And the same thing with Windows, Microsoft Windows 7, 8, or 10. Same thing with Macintosh operating system. Is it compatible with High Sierra or Sierra or El Capitan or Mavericks or whatever? Those are that is my gold tip because you know what? That can save you a lot of time and potential money because if the webcam isn't supported either because of the hardware or software or both and it doesn't matter what you do you can pound your head into a fucking lead pipe you're not going to get that fucking webcam to work well then you have to return it and you may get charged a 15 percent restocking fee and you just you know spent a hundred two hundred dollars on a webcam and well you just lost you know what i'm saying 15 to 30 dollars so you're losing money you're going backwards and also you just wasted that time now you have to ship it back you might have to pay for the shipping and now you're pissed off and now your goddamn boss your boss wants you is allowing you to telecommute but that motherfucker wants you in front of a webcam at 9 a.m. on Monday morning so that you can still present your TPS reports bitch boy and bitch girl and if you do not present your TPS reports on time you're fired and then you're out on the streets and then you are using McDonald's free Wi-Fi on a fucking you know jankety laptop uploading youtube videos just trying to you know make enough money so that you can feed yourself because don't you love capitalism and then it can also save your sanity you don't get all emotional you don't get all worked up you're not angry oh so always 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 before you ever order any hardware it doesn't matter what type of hardware. Always perform your research first. Go out to the manufacturer's website. Try to find the, the software. Well, what dry is are there drivers available? Does this webcam will it work with my hardware? Will it work with the operating system? Is there drivers available? Is there software available? Will it work with FaceTime? Will it work with Photo Booth? Will it work with Skype? Will it work with TeamSpeak? So that is my gold tip is always perform your research first so that therefore that way when the UPS man Brown does it better <laughs> people with color do it better. I mean, no, nah, I'm not like that. I know the European pale, pale skin ones are supremacists, but I'm not. But I just love to throw that in <laughs> once in a while. Brown does, oh, you think you're funny, Aaron. Brown does it better, huh? I've got some UPS crap right down there. I've got some fucking pop, some popcorn or peanut, peanuts, and not the ones that you eat, but for what, for shipping. Anyways, perform your research first and then purchase. Although, but th this person, I'm, no. No, they already had the webcam. I'm pretty certain they already had the webcam. And they were just trying to extend the life of it. But that's an, this is another gold tip. Let's say you already had the hardware purchased. You already have it. It's too late or whatever. You, you're trying to extend the life of a certain hardware device. Same thing. Perform your research first. What operating system? What hardware is supported? Are there drivers? Are there software? Will, will it work with FaceTime? Will it work with Photo Booth? Will it work with TeamSpeak? Will it work with... Skype, will it work with the software that I need it to work with? Perform all your research and then go ahead and hook it up and then, you know, try to find instruction. That's why I have a blog because some of my, now this one isn't as detailed as some. It's pretty detailed, but some of my blog posts are extremely detailed where I literally tell you, okay, click here, click next, select there, hit the drop down menu. Okay, here's where you can download the driver because you know, I learned many years ago myself and then as a technician that when you perform your research first, it's it can save you a lot of time when you it comes to hooking up devices and getting hardware to work. 
hopefully this video was productive and you are now able to get your Logitech C615 webcam working on a Macintosh or I would say you could use this video and my blog post linked to in the description box below for other Logitech webcams but the problems and the errors and the drivers are not going to be the exact same but you could use these tips and th this information as a basis point to try to get you working with your Logitech webcam so that now you can be you know a good little surf I mean you know so that you can teach people <laughs> adios